Hi, this is Carol Copeland Thomas, and this is your diversity tip of the day. The best way to convey your enthusiasm or your expression of interest or intrigue about diversity is through storytelling. And I want to challenge you to find five to ten different stories just right around you for the next week, let's say. You'll be amazed at how powerful storytelling is. It's used in teaching. It's used in religious practices. It's used to take a difficult subject matter, breaking it down through storytelling to help other people to understand it from a better, a better or more comprehensive way. I think about the young people who have been in my life. I have grown children, and I think about some of their friends who were literally in the sandbox with my kids, and now they're grown up, they're working amazing jobs, and in some cases, they're hiring me to do the kind of work that I do best, I think, in this field of diversity. That's a story. That's a story about one, two, five, ten different young people who are really making a difference in the society. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to get a notebook, any kind of notebook or any kind of pad, or you can get your smartphone or your iPad or whatever your device happens to be. Go to the note section of your particular de device or take that that um, notepad that, that you have at hand along with your pen. And every time something happens throughout your day, just write it down. Just write out a little note to yourself. Now, this works best when you're going in town and maybe you're on public transportation, bus, train, whatever. Just take out your pad of paper and look around at the people who are riding on that vehicle with you. If you're on a plane, if you're on a train, whatever kind of vehicle you're traveling on, just take out the pad ever so casually and just start taking notes about the people who are sitting next to you. The people who have, how many people have the earbuds on and they're listening to their smartphone device? I bet you an awful lot these days. All of those things can become stories. How we are so insulated in terms of how we're connecting with each other that you can text somebody who is sitting right next to you. That's a story. Or maybe somebody gets on and they're not very happy on a particular uh, bus or train or whatever, and, and, and they're very speaking very loudly, and you happen to notice how they're dressed. That becomes a story. Maybe you're at work and you have a, uh, an activity that takes place at work and you have a lot of fun, you engage in dialogue with your staff members or whatever, that becomes a story. Or you get home, you've had a really tired day at home and your kids are outside playing and they just are elated that you have finally got home from work. That becomes a story. It doesn't have to be magnificent and joyful every single time. It's just really the documentation of our life's activities and how we connect with each other or how we don't connect with each other. And if you look at it and you look at the pattern of things that happen, you're looking at diversity stories that happen every single day in your life. That's your tip. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit us online at carolcopelandthomas.com to learn more about our speaking services and training activities and also to figure out how you can really incorporate diversity into your life every single day. Thanks so much for watching.